don't know if I want them to understand me. I think I want them to just be open-minded and, and appreciate all the music I play, that it really is all related, even though it all seems like it's, you know, coming from all over. There's no overarching approach to my songwriting. It's always different. Sometimes songs will just kind of write themselves, and some songs will take me two years from the time I first get the idea. Sister, Sister was written uh, for my sister after she passed away a couple years ago and I was on the long drive between here and Illinois and in the course of the drive wound up writing that song and finished it up somewhere near Ely, Nevada. There were a lot of musicians in my family, you know, so there was always some positive input about music, but I just uh, started looking for uh, an instrument to play, so I took saxophone lessons, took piano lessons, and then my sister had a guitar, so I just uh, started borrowing her guitar and just spent all my time playing. It definitely was a device for keeping me sane through my teenage year, or at least as sane as I wound up being. Like I start out, just crying my heart out. She don't love me like I love her. Nobody could. I got it bad and mad and good. Here in, you know, West Montgomery, who actually uh, grew up in Indianapolis, which is not far from my hometown, uh, you know, that was a real eye opener. I'd lived on the East Coast a couple of times, I lived in Chicago for quite a while, and I just felt like, well, I've got to find something new a uh, undiscovered love of horses, and then just pure dumb luck that one day I saw this place at about this time of year, but I saw that it was, you know, how valuable and how beautiful it could be, so that's how I wound up with it. What I wound up doing was I never thought I wouldn't play again, I just didn't know how I would play. I cut my index finger in a uh, chop saw, so I learned, well, I can't play all of them, so I wound up playing bass lines and then parts of the chords, and it made a really interesting kind of new way for me to play. First thing I tried to practice after the accident was my classical music, and uh, I actually was not too bad at it. I, I still had enough of it in my mind that I could play it. I'm actually doing some things I never did before, which is play bass and chords at the same time while I'm singing. Somehow I never, I always wanted to do that, but I never did it until I lost this finger. So. You make the best positive decisions you can, you don't stop. Music school is always a place there's lots of teachers that just want to lay their negative trip on their students. Oh, you'll never be able to do it because you can't do this or you can't do that. And it's, it's crazy, you know. The best advice I ever got was from uh, a friend of my dad's who owned a nightclub. And so he said, well, you know, the only reason to do it is because you love it. Yeah, there's no other reason. My dad's friend didn't discourage me, but the advice would be the same for a kid, is do it because you love it, because the rest of it's all BS, because you'll probably give up long before you get anywhere if you don't. My back door someday.